say that the ocean and the water is actually the biggest book that has ever been published on the planet. And it's collecting all the information and it's keeping it. And when we go to water and we switch off our mind and we plug in with our ears, we can listen to the message of water. We can listen and we can remember. They say that water has been on the planet for 4,000 billion years. This water was once in my body, once was in yours, once was in my grandfather's ear, in my grandmother's tea. So the water keeps on circulating and keeps on collecting all the information. Therefore, water is also the information coming from our ancestors' line. Like coming in the bloodline, we have the information on our ancestors in there. I think that water is the portal to remember who we are, why we came here, to remember that life is sacred, and to remember of the impermanence of life. What I learned during my journey, inner and outer journey, that we learn how to read and navigate the map. Therefore, every day gets easier, every day gets lighter, and we know how to go through obstacles and difficulties. And therefore, it's not that they're not coming, but we know, first of all, that they are impermanent and we trust more into ourselves and our ability to navigate through those waters that sometimes can be a bit rough. And the high and the low make the flow.